Hi there Planet YouTube. Tonight I thought I'd upload a video about me modifying one of my favourite music players, this Sony mini disc player. I love listening to my music on it. There's just one problem. These gumstick batteries are just too weak. They discharge quicker than I like and when you look behind what these gumstick batteries are, you realise real quickly that this is just Sony trying to be proprietary with the most basic of uh, necessities for this device. This is just a flattened AA battery. Beggar's belief when I hotwired this battery pack to it with a regular AA battery that this player would run on its own. So I thought to myself, especially when these are now going beyond the 2000 milliamp hours and ender loops are even better than that from so Sanyo or Sony, I can't remember who makes them. So I thought, sub these buggers, I'll just solder these into here. And that's what we'll be doing today. I took a look into the battery compartment of the mini disc player and I was quite astounded looking down the shaft of this um, case you can see that there is a actual physical switch that detects an object being in the battery housing. My guess is it's just to make sure that you do not uh, try and hardwire something else in there like I'm intending with this here. But I am going to bypass that by cutting out the backing, placing this in and soldering it together, pressing the physical switch down at the same time. In theory, this should work. So, without further ado, let's give it a try. <laughs> 